Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, we'll be taking up the topic of United State uh, Taxation. Uh, so let's begin. As we all know that taxes are the main source of government revenue that are uh, used for the economic benefit of the country. So as our today's concern is U.S. taxation, so the U.S. Uh, tax structure is divided into federal, state and local uh, jurisdictions. Federal and state tax are completely separate and each one has its own authority to charge taxes. The federal government does not have the right to interfere with the state taxation. The Internal Revenue Service, that is IRS, is the government agency uh, within the uh, tax uh, treasury department. So that uh, is in charge of collecting taxes in U.S. It administers and enforces U.S. Uh, federal, federal tax laws. Along with that, it also provides guidance on the application of tax laws. Every individual, whether a citizen or a non-citizen, uh, or I would say a resident, who uh, lives in US for a period of for a certain period uh, like for a period of more than 180 days so uh, all uh, the you know people have an ob have an obligation to pay taxes in accordance with the laws of the nation like filing tax uh, is one of the most confusing aspect of american life if we talk about the uh, taxpayers that are there in US so it includes individuals proprietors limited liability partnership that is LLP limited liability company that is LLC along with that there are also corporations that have been divided into two categories C corporation that consists of the regular that are the regular ones and S corporations that are the small ones along with these taxpayers uh, US has a state state and uh, trust uh, tax uh, payers also uh, that uh, consist of on NG, uh, NGOs and non-profit organizations. So uh, many types of taxes are levied in uh, United States of America but uh, we will be discussing only uh, the common and uh, main uh, tax types. So the first tax type that is uh, there in US is uh, sales tax. So sales tax are imposed on the sale or lease of goods and assets. There is no uh, national state, uh, sorry, sales tax in the U.S. and that's why there is no standard rate for it. Since sales tax is governed at the state level, the tax rate varies from state to state and within the state as well. We can take an example here like in uh, New York, which is, the, which is one of the state of U.S. So the state sales tax over there is 7%. And if we talk about New Jersey, that is another state of U.S., so the tax rate over there is 3%. If we talk about the highest state sales, act, uh, sales uh, uh, tax rate, so it is the state of uh, California where the rate is 7.25%. So the tax rate uh, varies within the state also and from state to state also. Along with that, the taxability of item is also different in each state. Like for example, if we talk about New York, so uh, in New York, gum is taxed while milk is not taxable. And the other example is uh, of it is in New Jersey, food is taxable while clothes are not uh, filed for tax. So the taxability and tax rate varies uh, within the states in the US. The other category of tax type is a uh, payroll tax. So the time when the employee is hired in the organization, the employer will be responsible for paying its uh, payroll tax. So payroll tax is not a, sim a single tax, but uh, it consists of all the taxes that are paid on the wages of employee. Like if a company is having employees, so they are going to be responsible for deducting certain portion of employee wages and to pay the payroll taxes. There, one, there is one more thing that is to be noted here is uh, if a business is, uh, if a small, if, a, if we are running a small business and we don't have employees, still we have to remit a payroll tax for ourselves and this is called self-employment tax which amounts to 15.3% of the net business income. 
so this is about the payroll tax so if we take the other type that is income tax so the us has a progressive uh, tax system and it is you know based on the principle uh, that uh, earn high and pay high which means that if a person is earning high income then he has to pay a high amount of tax on the other hand if a person has low income so he will be liable to pay a, a small amount or lesser amount of tax every person who earns income in the us is required to pay income tax on both the federal and state levels and there is also cert a certain time period uh, for which they have to file uh, the, their return and that is uh, they have to file every individual uh, who is responsible for paying tax has to file the their tax return before april 15th of each year if we talk about the federal income tax so these are applied to all forms of incomes like wages or capital gain gains the other a uh, tax type is corporate tax so corporations are a separate uh, are a separate legal entity and are subject to corporation tax on taxable income corporation tax rate are different from personal uh, tax rate uh, like corporation earnings are subject to double taxation why it is called double taxation because corporation pay taxes on their earnings also and then they pay dividend to their stockholders which are subject to capital gain tax so in this manner uh, they can have a double taxation the other tax type is excise ta tax so excise tax are uh, are imposed or levied at the federal and state levels on a variety of goods that includes alcohol tobacco tobacco tires diesel fuel gasoline coal etc excise tax is a is required to be paid by the manufacturer at the wholesale sale or it can be collected from the customer at the retail sale so this is about the excise tax the other category is custom duty so the united state imposes tariffs or custom duties on import of goods and this duty is uh, levied at the time of import there are various uh, Uh, clauses and uh, conditions that are given for the custom duties goods from many countries are exempted from duty under various trade ag agreements like in some uh, countries some goods are exempted from the duty uh, and failure to properly comply comply with such uh, custom rules can result in seizure of goods and criminal penalties and all the goods that are imported into the us are subject to inspection by cbp that is custom and border protection that enforces the custom rules everybody uh, who are, has to abide by these custom rules and if they do not so they will be liable for certain uh, criminal penalties or their goods can be seized out so these are the various uh, types of tax that are uh, levied in the us along with that there is state tax state tax property tax sin tax and so on so this is about the taxation type so moving on to the net suite application if we talk about the net suite uh, us uh, tax edition so net suite offers a legacy tax module uh, that helps to simplify the tax calculation along with that it also provides a capability to calculate the us sales tax for multiple uh, jurisdiction so uh, before starting uh, anything we have to uh, we have to uh, make certain uh, setups for it so for that uh, we have to see whether the feature of uh, advanced uh, tax is enabled in our system or not so for that we have to go into setup company enable features so this is the enable feature page here we can see under the tax sub tab we have to see that advanced tax feature is enabled or not so it is already enabled now the next thing uh, we have to make certain setups uh, for us uh, preferences so for that we have to go into setup accounting under the uh, taxes we have this this option of setup tax so we'll go into that so here you can see that under the setup tax the uh, 
names that are given here these are all the nexus that are used and whenever the uh, name nexus comes so it is related with the uh, tax uh, jurisdiction so let me tell you what is nexus so it is a term that is used to determine different sales and purchases uh, taxes for a subsidiary and each subsidiary must be associated with at least one nexus it can have more than one nexus but it should every subsidiary should have a nexus um, for uh, transaction purpose so these are all the various nexuses australia belgium canada these are the various nexuses and we have to uh, enable or disable a certain features given over here this is concerned with australia but uh, as we are concerned with us so we will be selecting the us nexus so let me tell you about these features the first feature is enable tax lookup we have to uh, check this box enable tax lookup on sales transaction because if we check this box so nets will determine the proper tax code automatically when an order is entered manually that corresponds with the customer's shipping address and customer default to taxation if we check this box so the customer uh, that will be uh, uh, that will be on this transaction will be uh, uh, liable to pay tax by default charge uh, charge out of district sales tax if we are dealing out of the districts then uh, we have to uh, charge uh, this sorry we have to check this box this is per line tax it is already enabled this uh, respect discount item preference is like if we check this box so that uh, transaction level discount is applied after tax only if the apply uh, before sales tax uh, box sorry sales box uh, sales tax box is not checked on the discount item and if we do not check this box if we clear this box then the discount level will be applied before uh, tax uh, before tax so we can check or uh, clear these boxes this default tax code is here whenever any uh, transaction uh, occurs uh, with this uh, nexus like for us nexus so we can define a default tax code it will be populated automatically and if we want to uh, mention or uh, change the tax code so we can manually do that and if we want to uh, fix uh, any tax code for it so we can select it from the list here so these are the various tax codes we can select as per our requirement and if we don't want if we we want to manually mention the tax code so we can do that also this charge sales tax on sales order is like if we are using the web stores order so we have these three options like if we always want to uh, charge tax on the web stores order so we can select always if we want to omit that uh, uh, taxes to be used on the web store order so we can uh, check sorry we can select never and this per, per customer basis if the customer is taxable then he would be liable to pay tax and if the customer uh, uh, is you know uh, if the customer record is uh, checked with the non taxable so uh, that will not, that would not be liable to pay tax so this is based on the customers this tax code list include these are the options that are available what uh, uh, things do we want to uh, use on our tax code list tax group only tax code only or we want both the things so we can select it along with that if we go down here so here you can see that uh, with the us uh, with the united state these are the various uh, states that have been created so if we want to uh, select any preferred tax agency where the amount of tax would be collected so we can select the tax agency with the along sorry uh, with the states and if uh, this home tax code is about like this uh, home tax code is used for sales that do not ship to another location if uh, the transaction is happening within the state so the home tax code would be applied and we can select that home ta tax code from here with the list and we can select the preferred tax agency as per our requirement so this is about the basic setups we are uh, done with the us uh, uh, setup tax preferences
if we take the other uh, nexuses here like for australia we are having the different options for belgium we have different options for canada since it follows province so we have the province related op options we can select the preferred gst or hst tax agency along with that we can also select the provincial that is the home tax agency over here so uh, the features uh, would be different for different different nexuses again we can create the nexus if we want to create a different nexus so this is about the basic setups today we are done with the us uh, taxation basic setup uh, preferences in our upcoming sessions we'll know about some more features how the tax code and tax control accounts are created how the sales tax can be paid what are the various various uh, kinds of payment formats in the us taxation module so that's all about the topic in case of any questions and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you